What is the COVID-19 vaccine AstraZeneca? The COVID-19 vaccine AstraZeneca is an investigational drug that is currently being studied in phase 3 clinical trials. The Food and Drugs Administration Philippines has authorized its emergency use to prevent COVID-19 in individuals 18 years of age and older under an emergency use authorization. What is an emergency use authorization? Emergency use authorization is an authorization issued for unregistered drugs and vaccines in public health emergency. The EUA is not a certificate of product registration or CPR or a marketing authorization. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, the FDA Philippines has made the COVID-19 vaccine AstraZeneca available for emergency use under an EUA. It has not undergone this same type of review as an FDA approved or cleared product. An EUA may be issued when certain criteria are met, which includes that there are no adequate approved available alternatives. It was also based on scientific evidence available showing that the vaccine may be effective to prevent COVID-19 pandemic and the benefits of the vaccine outweighs the risk. Who should get COVID-19 vaccine AstraZeneca? FDA Philippines has authorized the emergency use of the COVID-19 vaccine AstraZeneca in individuals 18 years of age and older. Who should not get the COVID-19 vaccine AstraZeneca? You should not get the COVID-19 vaccine AstraZeneca if you had a severe allergic reaction after a previous dose of this vaccine. Seek consultation with your physician or healthcare providers regarding your queries and concerns. What should you mention to your vaccination provider before you get the COVID-19 vaccine AstraZeneca? Tell your vaccine provider if you have any first allergies, second bleeding disorder, or are currently on a blood thinner, third symptoms like fever, colds, cough, sore throat, and fourth history of exposure to a confirmed or suspected COVID-19 case in the past two weeks. Fifth, previously treated for COVID-19 in the past 90 days. Six, pregnant or plan to become pregnant. Seven, breastfeeding. Eight, received any vaccine in the past two weeks. Nine, immunocompromised or are currently on or have been in the past six months on a medicine that affects your immune system. Depending on the results of the health screening by your vaccination provider, your vaccination might get deferred to another date, or you might be required a medical clearance from your attending physician before be allowed to get the vaccine. How is the COVID-19 vaccine AstraZeneca given? The vaccine will be given to you as an injection into the muscle. The vaccine will be given in two doses, given 4 to 12 weeks apart. If you receive one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine AstraZeneca, you should receive a second dose of this the same vaccine 4 to 12 weeks later to complete the vaccination series. What are the benefits of COVID-19 vaccine AstraZeneca. COVID-19 vaccine AstraZeneca stimulates the body's natural defense or immune system. It causes the body to produce its own protection or antibodies against the virus. This will help to protect 
or 70.4% efficacy against symptomatic COVID-19, 14 days after the second dose. You against COVID-19 in the future. The duration of protection against COVID-19 is currently unknown. This is not a live virus and cannot cause a person to get COVID-19. What are the risks of COVID-19 vaccine AstraZeneca? Side effects that have been reported include first, injection site tenderness, pain, warm, redness, itching or swelling second generally feeling unwell third feeling tired or fatigue fourth chills or feeling feverish five headache six feeling sick nausea seven joint pain or muscle ache eight fever there is also a remote chance that the COVID-19 vaccine AstraZeneca could cause a severe allergic reaction. This may not be all the possible side effects of the vaccine. Serious and unexpected side effects may occur. The COVID-19 vaccine AstraZeneca is still being studied in clinical trials. See consultation with your physician or nearest health facility or call. guys and can share ko po yung uh, experience ko no uh, before ako uh, binakunahan or I got the vaccine so talagang guys <laughs> ang ginawa ko lang uh, you seek um, advice from your friends and nag-search talaga ako kung what are the possible side effects of this vaccine because it's not easy especially that uh, this vaccine is not really that 100% uh, efficacy rate but uh, before that may nagpray ka kasi kahit anong uh, gawin mo uh, you are so hesitant to do the vaccine but um, nga, prayer talaga na bigyan ka po ng courage ng Panginoon na, na maging okay ang lahat lalong lalo na pag tinurukan ka na ng bakuna guys ang dapat mong i-fix yung mind mo na this vaccine will really help not just yourself but para rin sa iba na kung ikaw uh, possible na makakahawa lalo na pag masyado kang lumalabas ng bahay or nakikihalubilo ng mga tao so wala kang guilt sa yung sarili na ah, parang ako yung dahilan na magka ganito yung family or yung makakahawa ka. So, uh, I'm so thankful for the vaccination team also guys because we have a good vaccinator. Uh, credit to Ma'am Luz uh, Riniga Jonko because he encouraged us to, uh, you're in the uh, working in the hospital and then why you are not willing to be vaccinated. This is one way to protect yourself and to protect everybody. But guys, uh, it's not an assurance that if you get the vaccine, you are um, 100% that you cannot get the COVID but uh, he explained to us that you can get the COVID-19 or may hinahambing na po kayo ng mga uh, sakit dyan. So, mas pinoprotect niya na hindi malala or severe yung maging reaction ng COVID-19 sa'yo. So, wag magpaka too much confidence guys if you get the vaccine. Just um, be careful and maintain the health protocols. Wash your hands, uh, wear the face mask and keep social distancing and when you are uh, working in a crowded places so before you get inside the house just change your clothes uh, change and wash so that's very important that plays an important role guys para malabanan natin ang COVID-19 uh, kasi alam na natin na especially yung mga vlogger dyan na uh, yung aim nila is to promote places that they are tra travel vloggers so the, inip na inip na sila na makalabas ng bahay at hindi, kahit hindi mga uh, nasa bahay talagang nakakainip so wala silang magawa at yeah minsan palaging it can cause depression guys so uh, let us help everybody um, I'm encouraged also 
uh, everyone to get the vaccine. At guys, I will share you a story. Before pala ako nagpabakuna, may nag-message sa akin na, hmm, it's about religion and scientific, guys. Like, she chatted me that, uh, if you really believe in God, you should not get the vaccine. And, oh, I was uh, starstruck uh, of that uh, chat, guys. But what I did to her, I just, um, uh, I'm not rejecting her, but what I twist the situation because uh, he said it, it, he in included God on that uh, certain portion and I said to her that yeah, um, pag naniniwala po kayo sa Panginoon, uh, hindi naman talaga basihan yung bakuna na hindi ka na naniniwala sa Panginoon yon pag napababakuna po kayo. So, ang ginawa ko na lang sa kanya, uh, sinabi, sinabi ko na lang na yung paggawa po nito ng bakuna ay hindi basta-basta. Yung mga medical experts, yung mga chemists natin, hindi nila ito magagawa kung walang biyaya or wisdom ng Panginoon. So, if you believe in God, so, yung kumpiyansa mo sa sarili at yung nabigay na po ang bakuna. So, ginawa ko na lang na ano ba to, kuling ba to na hindi ako magpapabakuna but I fix my mind, I uh, weigh the risk, I'm working in the hospital. So, and I have seniors, uh, children, kids here living with me. So, fix guys and tips uh, during vaccination guys. So, kailangan, uh, sa akin akin lang ito guys, ha, hindi ako expert sa ano, sa bakuna. So, ang ginawa ko na lang guys, ganito, before the vaccine, minamassage ko po yung arm ko. At, so, para kasi, uh, very solid to guys. <laughs> Matigas yung muscle ko. So, kasi, you know, ginawa ko ni massage, massage ko siya. Then, nung pagturok na, ang maganda lang talaga yung sa vaccinator, hindi naman malaki yung needle guys. Uh, maliit lang, gauge. Uh, hindi ko alam yung ano yung gauge ng needle. Uh, para hindi ka ma-stress. So, hindi ako nagtanong. So, ganito lang, tinurok. Makikita nyo sa video ko guys, kung paano tinurok. Ang dali lang guys. At, nung pagkatapos, hindi pala masakit guys. Hindi siya masyadong hindi siya masakit kasi uh, magaan lang yung kamay na nagbabakuna, maliit lang yung needle at tsaka different siya sa mga bakuna ko. This is not my first time to get the vaccine. I got plenty of vaccines before but may isang vaccine na HPV and yeah, and some other, my workmate said that the pneumococcal vaccine is quite very uh, painful but guys, it's okay. Uh, hindi siya naging hindi siya naging masakit at papasalamat ko din kay sis, sis Marilyn uh, from Canada. Siya yung nag advice sa akin at yung ano yung dapat gawin at yung cousin ko na nasa Mindanao. Salamat din kasi nakita ko sa sa Facebook na ganito guys. Uh, proud to be vaccinated and the brand is AstraZeneca at na that time guys you will feel uh, hesitant talaga kasi maraming lumalabas na issues against the AstraZeneca that it was suspended in Canada, some other countries because there's a possible blood cuttings in that's part of the side effects but it, it, it was stated also that in a million of uh, Plenty of people got the vaccinated. It's very rare that you will get uh, that's blood clotting. So I, ju I just not focus more on the negative sides of the of the vaccine. But um, talagang the positivity, guys, yung uh, ginagawa ko. At pagkatapos yung guys, yung yung friend ko, salamat talaga sa sa inyo guys. At uh, what are the anong nangyari pagkatapos ng bakuna, guys? So ang, dahil may advice na na kailangan mong magtake ng paracetamol. Hindi ako nakabili agad. So the day, the day after, uh, after na na-vaccine, uh, uminom ako. Un, una guys, uh, Tylenol, paracetamol, para hindi ka, kasi, na-state na, na po, before sa vaccine, in-explain po kayo, uh, in-screen po kayo, in po yung uh, condition na, yung health condition nyo. So, ganun guys, at ang nangyari, uh, minom na talaga ako ng paracetamol, at pagkatapos niyan, uh, nag Kasi talagang ma-feel mo guys and you should be thankful if you have this body reaction to the vaccine because meaning yung bakuna nag-work sa yung katawan. So they're working and hindi mo at na-state na din yung possible side effects. So hindi ka na mag-worry. So ang, ang gawin mo na lang is prevention para hindi ka magkaganon. So take paracetamol and after the um, vaccine so put a uh, just ang ginawa ko cold compress lang talaga. Uh, nilagyan ko po ng hindi direct ang ginawa ko guys. So it's okay lang na may uh, cloth at Tinatapo na lang yung eyes, yung, yel, yung yellow do, dito sa arm ko. So, hindi siya naging, hindi siya, nag, hindi ako nagka-fever. But talaga guys, yung ma-experience mo, yung katawan mo, fatigue ka, talagang, uh, ma, ano ka, mapupuyat, yung you need rest talaga. So, the, the day before that, pala guys, wala akong tulog kasi nag, uh, imbak ako ng tubig. So, kakaantay kailan dumating yung agas. So, yan ang nangyari. So, yun guys, so, I encourage um, everyone to get vaccinated and don't worry if there's a severe allergic reactions and it's very seldom here in the Philippines nga na magdagkaroon ng blood clotting. Hindi pa ako naka-rinig naka ng news about that. So, 
pag available na po sa lahat kasi ang ginawa ngayon ng DOH guys hindi pa available to all but by category so una yung na, nag work ng mga hospitals yung mga sa sentro barangay health center eh, rural health center then the seniors and yung walang wala talaga so sila yung uunahin kaya hindi pa talaga available yung vaccine sa mga uh, private or the pharma pharmaceuticals guys para ibenta so only government pa yung nag ano nag regulate ng vaccine so yeah that's my covid experience and don't i will update you my second dose guys kung ano yung maging reaction kasi nandito na sa katawan ko yung unang shoot <laughs> unang bakuna guys so pangalawa is uh, next month sa may may guys so and thank you for watching my vlog guys and to give a thumbs up comment down below and subscribe and hit the notification bell para updated kayo sa mga sa second dose ko guys so maraming salamat po sa mga viewers ko at sa mga ka-team ko so, maraming salamat sa inyo uh, salamat po and thank you for watching Eva's vlog bye bye